day five working on the van. Um, yesterday we didn't film it, but we fixed the check strap. Brand new check strap. Today we are going to be fixing bodywork. So down here we have some busted up metal and on this side of this door we also have some kind of rusty bits here. Um, we, just don't, yeah. we just don't need rust on this thing at all. So we're going to buff that up and fill in any holes and gaps with fiberglass. Then prime it, paint it and we should then have an intact car body, fan body. We've got some other pieces here. We don't really know what that is. That could just be split paint. That could be split metal. The we will find out. <laughs> These are the bits over here that he was referring to. It's not looking good just now. Some up here as well. Some splits and things. But it's fine. Hopefully we're going to get that all fixed today. We think we know what we're doing. We're going to buff it up. He says with confidence. Yeah, I'm totally confident. Totally know what I'm doing. I've seen YouTube videos on this. <laughs> yeah, we're going to buff it up, get it prepared, cover cover the thing over with fiberglass, and then that's it. Fixed. We've got um, University of YouTube degrees, so we're ready to go. We are. So far, I've taken the drill to the ends of all of the little splits in the metal along here. Supposedly putting little drill holes at the ends of cracks stops the cracks from growing. So that's first the first step. Next we're going to tidy up the edges, try and dent them in just a little bit to make some space for the fiberglass to go. And then we'll buff off the paint so that the fiberglass can stick to the metal. Then I think we're just fiberglassing and filling this stuff in. Fiberglass is kind of like paper mache except a bit more sticky. finished most of the dremeling. I was just trying to take off the sharp edges. Next is buffing. Safety first. Safety always first. Let's see how this goes. why you're doing that. So I need to buff the paint off so that the fiberglass will actually be able to stick to the metal so it won't stick to the paint quite as well. Also because this is kind of roughing up the metal surface that's a bit easier for the, the fiberglass and resin to stick to it. glove. Oh, I could be making it worse. Yeah, don't I'm be trying to bend this thing inwards, not outwards. My problem is this little bend out here. I'm going to take it. Alright, yeah, screwdriver do it.
You know what? I think it's a Dremel job. I think it's a Dremel job. Gloves. Check. Glasses. <laughs> visor. I can't see the glasses. I can't see the visor. <laughs> I hope we don't need to do this again because that Dremel is worn down and that's the last disc. Somebody broke it. Yeah, we had two but I broke the other one when I just put it in the box. I'm not going to cut all of this thing because that's a massive big flap and it'll make a massive big hole so I'm just going to bend bits in and then that will make space for the new bit of fiberglass that goes over the top and then we can just fill in the gap with fiberglass and cotton candy I mean if you want but that's up to you and it might not work very well do you think candy floss would work as insulation that's a good question I mean it probably would like hold air in there and air is insulated and so then we'd have the most be as good as like fiberglass insulation or anything else you normally use mm -hmm. but i think it might actually i think it would be the most delicious insulation yeah you couldn't let it get wet though you couldn't let moisture in there or it would all just dissolve then it'd be rubbish insulation you just have sugary water on the floor and ants yeah good there. It looks pretty horrendous but I trust you. But we'll fill it in and it will be fine. You can pay people to do this. But it's very expensive. Yeah, don't don't attempt this yourself. It we spent about 20 pounds on the fiberglass kit yeah. and then we get to fill in the hole ourselves. I think if you have the money to pay someone to do it yeah, it's probably. You're going to get a better job if you pay someone to do this. Well, we'll see how it turns out. As long as this thing's sealed up, it's all good. Plus it's on the inside of the door. Yeah. There's no inside of door fan beauty contests that we're aware of anyway. There might be somewhere. Well, we're certainly not running for that. We're running for a nice van overall. We're running for a van that doesn't leak, I think. Uh, that's going to be a really good award to get. And for the least re leaky van, this big yellow thing. <laughs> this thing's really close to the rubber seal and I don't want to... Can you take the rubber seal off this? I think it's glued on. I don't think it is. Woohoo! Oh, that makes it so much easier. Oh, gosh. Why don't you just peel it off below, we can get some sealant and we can put it on properly. That's certainly improving. Did we save the last bit of the wheel for the outside? Oh yeah, good point. We could use a wee bit of sandpaper. We could buy a new wheel. But that would be an expensive £7. No. <laughs> Let's get a new wheel. Yeah, I think, I think we'll order a new wheel. Yeah. We can do that tonight. Place the order for that. We probably won't even need it again after this, but just who knows. That's, the thing. That's why we haven't ordered a new wheel because we're like, oh, it's so close. Probably won't need it again. Maybe there are other things we could use it for. Like brushing my teeth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give yourself a filling. Carve the turkey at Christmas. Stroking the cat. She'd have a really fluffy ruffled coat. You get one of those car buffers for her and kind of. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this isn't quick work. Do you want me to do some of that? I would love it if you could do some of this. Oh, what is going on?
none down here. Oh, Ooh, that's stinky. Yeah, let's not take that stuff back in the house. Some hardener. And this stuff is the fiberglass mat. Oh, that's fiberglass, all right. You have to chop this up and I think you're supposed to wear gloves for that. Are you? That makes sense, yes. Glass fibre. Yeah, don't get that in your fingernails. Yeah. You um, can make Edward scissor hands. Edward fiberglass hands. <laughs> so I'll get some scissors, we'll chop that up, we'll mix up some hardener, and then I think we'll just get going. Two and a half, three percent that we want for this. So Scott's mixing the resin just now. I'm not sure how much of this we'll actually need. For that amount, I don't want to use all of this stuff. Probably best to use a smaller amount to begin with and then mix some more. Ooh, that stuff is strong. Don't be sniffing it. I think that's illegal. <laughs> Pouring this on the grass. <laughs> I think it'll be about 100, 100 mils, 150 mils, what do you think? 150. And now I think I want to mix this without getting air bubbles in it. I'm not sure exactly what that entails. Just don't use the drill to mix it. God no. I will take a piece to begin with. Oh, I better get my gloves on. You don't have gloves on. No, well, I wasn't going to touch it, but I might touch it. To be honest, we've already duffed up. I forgot to alcohol clean it. It's fine. It's going to be dusty fibre. It's fine. It'll stick. It doesn't have to be actual exterior bodywork. Well, this is why we practice on the inside first. Yep. Practice here so we can remember later. I'll we'll have to try and get this fiberglass matting really saturated. You dip it in the stuff. Well, that's one. I did see that on one video. Someone did. They would. Someone said they would dip the stuff in. But another video I saw a dude saying that dipping it in makes it very messy and difficult to handle. So, okay. um, I kind—I suppose it's well, kind why of. Why don't we try it both ways and then we can say which is the right way? I suppose we can. So, round one, no dip. How is it going? Controlled. Quite like it. Gotta say. Yeah. So far, non-dip is winning. I haven't, obviously, we haven't tried the dip. I'm not too fussed about trying the dip actually, because that's quite good. Mm. Just hold on to a moment. I'm going to prepare the sides. I think this is my favourite fixing of the van thing so far. Cleaning was hard work. Cleaning was really hard actually. Fixing the check scrap was really annoying. Well, you got annoyed, I was fine with it. <laughs> If you drop that stuff on your trousers, do they harden to your body? Yeah, then I can never ever take my trousers off. Yeah. Just means that it's quite messy. I've got some drips on my knee and it's kind of 
slowly sticking to my trousers and slowly sticking to my knee hair. It's a ton of fun every time I kneel down. So now that bit there is fiberglassed up, we're going to buff this thing down, see what the metal looks like behind it, if it even is metal, who knows, someone might have fiberglassed it before, but let's find out. So, we finished buffing up all of the funny bits of bodywork. Luckily, this bit here looks like it just had some funny surface rust going on, so we've cleaned that up and we've, we're now planning to prime it. That's what this is. We're going to spray this on. This will protect it. It won't be yellow, but we'll put the yellow on later. We have this paper here to protect bits that we don't want to paint. I think it's just a job of painting now. I read that you're meant to, one, use a face mask. Don't have one. I reminded Scott at this point that we are in the middle of Covid season. He does indeed have several face masks and he should go and get the face mask and put it on. You're also meant to test your paint before you spray on the bodywork to make sure it's coming out nice and smooth. We're a bit pushed for time because the sun is setting. So. I'm pausing here to explain our surprise when we realised we'd somehow accidentally ordered yellow primer, which is the colour we needed. Huh. That is yellow. I didn't realise the filler primer was going to be this colour. Are you sure that's the primer? Yeah, it says filler primer. Yeah, and it's yellow. It's yellow? Or kind of burnt umber. <laughs> No, 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 don't the door handle. You haven't covered the door handle. Doesn't look terrible. Doesn't look great either. Let's give this stuff around here another coat. Once this is dried in, we will come back, give it a little buff up with some sandpaper and then we'll put the actual colour on it. That said, this looks okay. This stuff we're using is a filler primer. The idea is that it's a paint that's quite thick, so should one protect the metal, 
and to fill in any little gaps 